Hello. Oh. <sighs> yes. Oh, yeah, sorry for um, making you wait, actually. One of my friends called me, so yeah, I had to uh, take the call. Oh, you. Yep, so yeah. how's it going? How was your week? How was your first few days of New Year? It was all right, to be honest with you. Um, literally nothing really going on, to be honest. Hmm. Pardon me. No worries. I heard where you are. It's going to snow pretty soon. Is it, is it true? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I ain't even really. To be honest with you, I, it has been cold, but like, it's literally clear skies at the moment. No. <laughs> Well, in my place, I don't get snow, but, you know, since 3rd January, it's so cold that my hands are freezing without even touching the water, so, yeah. Oh. It's cold. Mm. Yeah. So, this week is pretty interesting. Today is Wednesday. Today is, yeah. for you, today, Queen Bee finale will be released, and for me... Um, tomorrow that will be so that'll be interesting. You know something funny? I actually forgot it was Wednesday today. <laughs> um, I forgot Queen Bee was coming out as well. But to be honest, yeah, this is a bit weird. Yeah. You know, since we stepped into the new year, uh, we did also choices didn't do anything like uh, you know year end blog post. They did that last year. That was interesting. I don't think there was surrender coming out. To be honest. <laughs> Oh, wow, I looked into some of the posts. Uh, you know, I, I sent you some. I don't know why. But... Yeah, honestly, right. I'm going to say this now, and I don't care what anybody says. It's my opinion. Don't come and attack me, the police, please. <laughs> Certain people. That's okay. No, but literally, I don't. Did you did you notice the screenshots I sent you? And I want everybody to go and have a look on the surrender. Oh, post, did you notice so... twenty posts, twenty comments equally? Well, yeah, that's that's not a coincidence, that is it? There's 20 comments equally, and it's hard, there's no bad comments. Yeah, okay. That's a bit suspicious to me, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were getting at them pretty hard, so yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I forgot, honestly, Queen Bee was coming out today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, to be honest, you know, a lot of, you know, people, even choices when they released Wake the Dead for non-VIP players, they didn't even hype it that much, you know, the release. They just said at the last line, you know, hey, Wake the Dead is coming out. I bet you when Surrender is going to release, they're going to say, hey, get your handcuffs ready. Surrender is coming out. <laughs> Everybody, don't, because they don't, you don't actually get to give consent until about Chapter 7. Honestly. Yeah. To be honest, I w watched some of the screenshots I sent you. So, you know, this person on Instagram made some fun, uh, you know, uh, captured some funny moments. So our work uh, co-worker, Mallory or something, or Malfoy, I don't know what her name is, but like, good, good God. I mean, she says stuff like, I don't know, like instantly hey i'm gonna go down like what is this even i mean this is overly sexual even dream zone i have not seen a book like this to be honest i mean there is actually wow. something wow are you sure about that <laughs> i mean come on yes. actually actually we get something you know yeah probably but not in, to this extent you know our love interest our co-worker oh, yeah. everyone is going down on us and that was and also we go to eat a love interest, you know, the description is our love interest likes to watch us eat and, uh, you know, the way we move our lips and mouth while eating, chewing food. I'm like, wow. Yeah. It's, uh, honestly, it's a joke so far, to be honest with you. It's like, if that's what people are into, then fine. But, like, yeah. Yeah, that's, I just... That's okay. We're just saying our part, you know. Yep. 
Yeah, it's a bit, you know, hilarious to be honest, you know. And uh, I, I, I quote this, the love in- get this, get this, will you? Um, the love interest says, op- you know, uh, our, our main character is eating at a restaurant and our love interest, um, you know, takes a spoon and then with a the spoon in hand, our love interest asks our main character, uh, tells that, open it. Our main character s- s- uh, responds, what? I mean, come on. If someone across from your table with a spoon in hand asks you to open it, what? <laughs> oh, no. It's ridiculous. What else are you supposed to open? Exactly. I mean, this is just a bit too much. Psychopath? <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, uh, what do we have? I think um, we have Queen B. We're going to talk about that. And um, are you caught up with the recent chapter of Wet the Dead and its Iris? Um, no, because to be honest with you, with what they're doing, then it's a bit ridiculous to me. With what? It's sorry, one minute. Yeah, sorry. It's just it's just a bit ridiculous to me. I'm not really bothered in reading it, to be honest with you. What? I don't know, really. I've just not really been that interested in it, to be honest with you. But, you know. Oh, like the whole app or the Wake the Dead? Which one are you talking about? Oh, Wake the Dead, sorry. Oh, that's interesting. Like, what, you know, like, how far did you read and at one point did you feel like, you know, you can't get past it or, you know, get ahead? Hmm. Oh, Sorry, what did you say? Sorry, I'm literally just spacing out. Oh, what happened? Is everything okay? Yeah, sorry, I'm just... You know, just a bit... Off it at the moment, but yeah, I, I'm still here, don't worry. No worries, yeah. You can tell me. Okay, yeah, so I was just asking, like, at one, at what point you, you realized that, or it felt to you, like, it's looking you know it's seeming off and you start like you can't get past this chapter so what chapter was it i would say for wake the dead um to be honest i don't really know uh, um what chapter was it i actually can't remember you know without going onto my phone without going back onto my phone you know oh yeah no worries about that but, yeah okay anyway so um where should i where should we start dream zone or queen bee I'm sorry, uh, choices. Um, can you hear me? Right, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous, this, isn't it? This bloody app. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it happens. So, yeah, so which one would you like to discuss first? Um, dream zone or choices? Um, I say we. I say we start with choices. Cool. With Queen B. Uh, um. Yeah, I think we should start with Queen B. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting the finale this week, and last week's chapter was interesting. Y- but yeah, it was. Yeah. But it was not like, uh, you know, what you, I would like to ask you is, I personally, like, the way we discover X's identity and then how we take them down, I think the moment we discovered X, it was, X was not a threat anymore. And last chapter, X seemed, I mean, X, Celine, or Persephone, they seemed like, you know, just a nobody, to be honest, like, not a real threat. And then we are finally, after everything that we went down throughout the book to new villain, X, we don't know them, lots of minions we need to take down, all the hard work, and we are standing, um, you know, so who is standing between us and our glorified moment, our, you know, glory prize? It's Poppy, once again, the villain of book one. So that took interesting turn. Yep, it, it it really did. To be honest with you, 
But like, I don't understand how Poppy is that high up. Like she's she's been on hiatus for the last few chapters. Like before, like we found out about her. Uh, Saline being Paul Persephone actually being X. I mean, how did she get that many votes anyway? Like both of them, because we like you said you called it, didn't we? Like we'd be in the running with Poppy. I, I mean, it's obvious. But yeah, to be honest with you, it's it was it wasn't actually surprising to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, that was a bit, I mean, we talked about chapter 13, you know, when we, you know, the nerds take over Belvoir, and then we hear X's voice on the phone and all that chapter. We said with music and everything went down in that chapter. It was a really great chapter. But then the, you know, the revelation of X and stuff that happened afterward. Yeah, the cat fight scene in the bathroom, it was hilarious and it was interesting. But other than that, or surrounding X, it kind of felt a bit off. Did it feel it a bit off to you too? Yes. I mean, I know I kept, I kept saying like it was like the Dean, but if, like I said last week, or the other day, sorry, it was... I said that the beginning of it was probably sailing, to be honest, or X, but like, po and Poppy's got something to do with it, to be honest, like knowing, like who it is and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, I, like you said, it felt a bit off, like some it was, yeah, we found out about her, but like, and then that was it. How would we get? A, like I said, didn't I? I said, look, how we're going to get our revenge on him. I mean, it's a bit ridiculous, in my opinion, that they've cancelled the book three. Like, how are we going to get a proper revenge on her? Well, technically we have because she's out on a running, but, like, good, good revenge for everything she has done in this book. Yeah, but I think she's not even a real threat, the way she was uh, posed. And did you see the latest sneak peek from Choices about Queen Bee Chapter 16? No, I did not. Um, do you want to see it? Oh, uh, what was it? Just tell me. <laughs> oh, it, it literally gave away what's going to happen. So uh, one of the Apoidia members says that, oh, what is happening? Some along these lines, not exact uh, quotation. She says, get this lady or some, you know, woman out of the stage. So definitely it's about Poppy. And, you know, just like we eliminated Celine, we're going to do that to Poppy. So it's kind of easy to guess, you know, what's going to happen in the last chapter. Yeah. It's, oh. you know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to be honest, it's, <sighs> to be honest with you, I've not really been taking much notice of choices lately because of the problems that are going on, to be honest. So, but yeah, I mean, I'll have a look myself as well so I can get a better, right. Is it on Instagram or Twitter? Uh, on both platforms, but I saw it on Instagram. You can also find it on Facebook, I guess. Uh, uh Screech is giving. Is oh, right? look at that. The choices are slickers wrote on that post as well. I mean, sorry. Say, say again. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. Poppy. It's got to do with Poppy. Yeah, I mean, of course it's Poppy. I mean, I mean, I mean, we all knew that she was going to be a villain in this book as well. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, the last last three chapters, 14, 15, and 16, I think, um, it just kind of uh, got the train of Queen Bee off the track, I would say. Up until chapter 13, you know, it was building up really well in a sense the, you know, whatever that party, uh, that since that party, the book was doing really good. 11th chapter, 12th chapter, 13th chapter, bang. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what do you say is going to happen in the last chapter? I can't really tell you, and to be honest, but... That Poppy just going to go on a mental breakdown like she always does anyway. So that's that's just about it, to be honest. I, I don't really know, to be honest, because that's what I mean. They've ended it abruptly, just like that. So, 
Oh, look, now you found X. Now the book's ending. Why couldn't there be a book for it? I'm sure they would have found something to, for it to be about. But, you know, they only care about money and not what people want, so that's all, to be honest. I've got a certain coin B, to be honest with you. Because like we said, there's not really much to talk about now about it, because, yes, we found X. Now what? What what? What we got to do now? About it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not really. Yeah. Sure. The aftermath, where you know, I think it happened in Laws of Attraction too, didn't it? Because at the end, we thought it would be something a big, you know, a banger, like a, a bang, something would happen. But you know, as soon as we get Sadie, then then you know, Sadie retreats and she's not a big threat. Also, the main villain, that guy, I can't remember her, his name, but he also gets arrested. Like no court case. Like we don't actually fight the case in the court. Uh, you know, it, it just um, miraculously everything gets back in the place. Marcus gets out of the jail. And then, you know, it ends with a cliffhanger, though. But, you know, it was when you... So I think this is a trend we are seeing. I don't know, like, we, when we get to the main villain, it just ends super fast, you know? Like, as soon as you find the main villain, like, boom. It's so easy to yeah, beat exactly. them. <laughs> right, sorry. I'm going to have to give... Can you give me, like, 10 minutes? My My mom's trying to call me. Yeah, you take your time, no worries. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey. Hello. Yeah, everything okay? Yeah, I just had to call my mum and then... Well, she called me, but she hung up, so I had to call her back. But she wasn't answering then, so I had to wait a bit longer. So, yeah, everything's fine. Cool. So what were we talking about uh, last? I forgot. <laughs> um, wasn't it Queen B? Yeah, it was Queen B, but I mean like um. Oh what? what oh what? yeah yeah I get you. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. I remember we're talking about Poppy, and then we're oh, talking yeah, about yeah yeah Poppy. Yeah. I think we got up to the bit where we were saying Poppy and like her being a villain as well. I still mm. think she is, you know. I know, I know I'm saying this probably because I hate her, which I do, which I'm not biased at all. But, but you know what I mean, though? Like, you called it, didn't you, as well? I think a lot of people called it, but Poppy would have to do something to, with it as well. But, sorry. But how did... I think what I'm knowing more about this book than people realise is, is the fact that how... How do I explain this? How people were voting for... Sailing, uh, well, Persephone, going to get them mixed up now, even though it's not even sailing, is it? <laughs> X, let's say X. <laughs> Just say X, yeah. How were people voting for her when they didn't even know who she was, what she looked like, or anything? Like, and, and Poppy as well, she went in, she went, for, sorry for swearing, she went missing for the ages. It's like, it's like what? I don't get it, to be honest with you, but it is what it is now, it's over and done with, isn't it? We found out who X actually is, even though it was obvious from the beginning. New character. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a bit, you know, weird that way. And also, if you take the, the dance moment with Pop in the last chapter, and she will tell uh, you that, you know, she can show you some things later if we want. So, that didn't happen in the last chapter. So, I, I think there is a diamond scene or something, like a steamy moment you're gonna get with either poppy zoe or your professor now she's also our competition and this is a 20 minute chapter to end the whole series queen b so i'm just curious how it's going to end you know it's just and it yeah, seems that's like what i mean i think a lot of people are pissed off with this i'm sorry for swearing again but uh, well is that because well, that's quite a swear well, sorry i'm getting sidetracked now i'm a bit happy but yeah i, I forgot what, even what we were talking about now <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. Uh, oh, oh, but yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, I remember now, I remember. Like like I said, they could have put the X reveal a bit sooner, because now we've only got one chapter left. For what? We're gonna find out about that Poppy's out of our own and we're gonna win, but now what? They, they should have put this in the middle of the book, find out who X is. And a per like a perdia to do like this. Like getting our re sweet revenge and all this. I said this, didn't I, a couple of weeks ago, saying this will all happen. They should do this, but they did they? But, you know, it is where it is. 
Yeah. It's a, you know, like we're talking about laws of attraction, you know, the ending. So I think, you know, yeah. like. That one, all right, can I just explain? I just get something on this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I noticed this straight away. Who do you think helped uh, Martin? Because he didn't buy it himself. No in way did he buy that himself. No way would he have the money. Well, if he does, then sorry, I'm being critical of somebody I don't even know. But realistically, <laughs> though, who the hell helps him? I'm sorry, that's big, but... That's a big, big question, you know. Like, out of nowhere. Yeah. Unless it was Sadie all along. Just... No, I can't see that. Do you know what, though? As much as I hate her, I don't think it was her who helped him, you know. Nope. No, no, she didn't do it. I don't care. And people yeah, like, was... like, um, sorry, we're going on to laws of attraction now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I can't remember what happened, but something about the board members actually accepted him as being the new senior boss or something. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's yeah. like, why? Where's the senior evidence partner. he's done anything right the past whole of the book? Yeah. It's a bit. Well, it's like money can buy everything, so that that's no, what no, Mark went. Money can buy literally anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, the point is the laws of attraction ending we saw, and now Queen Bee. So you know, like the book, both the books are really great, but I think you know at the end they kind of you know sh- sort of uh, got you know. Sort of, yeah, shaken, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not like, if, for instance, let's go to Veil of Secrets or The Unexpected Heiress. We talk about the ending and the last chapter. Like, wow. I mean, it's just, you, you're reading a last chapter, if you like. Or, for instance, Blades of Light and Shadow, book one's last chapter. Endless Summer, last chapter. So it's like, or It Lives, last chapter. It's like a proper last chapter you're reading. So I think... Mm-hmm. It, we saw in foreign affairs this year laws of attraction queen bee the last chapters are not you know distant shores earlier so open heart the last chapters are not you know exactly what we wanted from them no no and that's why i said to me it deserved a book free i think we both said that was it chapter 13 one was extremely good i think it was chapter 13 or was it chapter 14 yeah, that chapter I said made the book for me, which was a very good book. I said this last the other day as well, but like, I don't know. Like, uh, if to put the X reveal a little bit sooner, do you know what I mean? So it gives it more time for. Oh, yeah, I'm not exactly looking forward to it. If you want me to be honest with you, but yeah, it, you know, hmm. like with the endings as well. The, it seemed rushed, this one. I know we've said that before on loads of times with like Dream Zone and all the, these other apps, but this does seem a bit rushed, this ending for Queen Bee. I am not even going to lie. It was like, boom, you find out who she is, there's a cat fight, and that's it. That's all I remember yeah. from the last chapter. Like, yeah. genuinely. The cat fight and the dancing scene are the most memorable moments, and the way we get Celine busted, but that's it. Yeah. it not yeah. like chapter 13, which was a <laughs> wow chapter of that one. That was the best chapter I've probably read of the books last year. One of the best, yes. And I know I said it made the book, and it did, to be honest. But then after that, it just went stale, didn't it? It just didn't have that... I don't know. Do you know what I'm trying to say here? It didn't have that... Power... Oh, it's... I can't think of the word, you know. It didn't have that oomph, like as in to say... Yeah. Like you said, it would just... We found out who she is. And the cat fight, and then that's it. And then, obviously, her being just a B-I-T-C-H, you know, after. But, yeah, that's about it, to be honest with you. I've got to say on that. Yeah, that's, that's interesting, you know, how it goes to, it's going to end. But, yeah, let's, let's see how it ends. You know, next week when we come here, we'll have more of an insight of how Queen Bee ends. But here's a question for you before Queen Bee ends. What was the best memory for you for both Queen B book one and book two? And what are you looking forward to the most in the finale? Right. Book one was probably, I don't know. Book one, I don't... Ooh. Right. 
I, I'm going to say this now. The scene what comes into mind when I think of Queen Bee Book One is the scene where we get to either expose Poppy's secret or not. That scene I remember quite vividly. And I'm not going to lie, I did expose this. I think in the first playthrough I did expose the secret and then I didn't in the next one. But yeah, that that's the best chapter in that book. That's the memory I have of that book. Book two, um, chapter 13. I just, yeah, I just, just that was the Zan Pape or whatever her name is, isn't it? Chapter, wasn't it? I yeah. swear it was. Yeah, it was. That chapter, and would just take that honestly, that was the best thing about this book, to be honest with you. Apart from taking sailing down and stuff like that and with a cat fight, but you know, which I actually didn't expect. And I didn't expect the MC to have that kind of motive to actually get them to, against each other and to say, look, it's them, there's two fault, look what they're doing. I thought that was a bit clever. And not a lot of people thought about that, but yeah. Ever, my hopes for the finale? Actually locking in a love interest, Zoe. <laughs> Thank God. Honestly, just get some time with her, man. She deserves it. She's been our rock since... And I, I look, I know... I liked Aina at first, but book two just really made her pathetic. Just a cheesy, cringy, obsessed little witch. I know that went a bit deep, but sorry. Um, but yeah, I think my hopes of finale is actually have some quality time with Zoe and then end the book on a good note, to be honest with you. Interesting. Yeah, same. That's, I'm looking forward to like what happens to the love interest thing. Like, uh, will, will this show us a glimpse of the future, like Big Sky Country, or like what will happen? So that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, yeah, it will. Yeah. So that's about Queen Bee. But what else we have from choices? What else you've been reading? Uh, oh, oh, I forgot to renew my VIP as well. Thinking of Crimes of Passion. Damn it! Oh, I'll have to renew that after re after this. I forgot no, about don't, that. Oh. Don't don't do that. You know you don't have any book in VIP anyway. Wake the Dead is on hiatus. You have Surrender and only Crimes of Passion. It's not worth it. Look, Crimes of Passion. I know I did send you the message saying, "Oh, I don't like this love interest so far." I still kind of don't. But didn't I say in that message? I am not backtracking here. I did say I'll try and give this book a good thing yeah. for the plot. I know, but, but what I, I mean, I think, I think, yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to buy it for the, for that because I'm actually reading Big Sky Country again, starting from book one and book two, and then I'm going to be reading Crimes of Passion. So, I think as much as I hate VIP, well, not hate it, but like how much it is, I probably will. And I got paid today as well, so that's probably why. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but uh, here's a suggestion for you. You <laughs> just play through Big Sky Country and use your diamonds and stuff. And then what you got to do, right now you only have one book, that is Crimes of Passion, which is a quality book for you to play. So wait, you know, a couple of months, maybe, you know, January, February, when they release the next book. And then you are, February, when, you know, Wake the Dead comes out, a new book comes out, and then you can go with, you know, by the VIP, so you can in yeah. one go read all of the chapters of Crimes of Passion, new chapters of Wake the Dead if you want to, and then the new book will also be there. I think that would be a bit beneficial. Yeah. I think it irked me about Wake the Dead as well. I know I said I haven't been reading it much, but that's what we Wake the Dead. What I'm actually doing is I'm actually staying away from the spoilers for all the books nowadays. Like, okay. if it's if it honestly, if it's a book I don't like, I'll look at the spoilers for it. I don't mind doing that. But like, uh, Surrender. <clears throat> but with Crimes of Passion Wake the Dead, I'm actually, I know I, I said earlier, didn't I, I'm not exactly reading choices, but like, I think what I'm doing is, is with Crimes of, with Wake the Dead specifically, it went off on that good of a start. What I'm actually going to do with that is just, I'm just going to replay it. I'm going to replay it, sorry, when it's all come out. But to counteract the point what you said about like, not buying it, I think I will buy it. But, like, because I want that edge, you know what I mean? I want to be thinking after a chapter, like, say, if something goes off or somebody's being kidnapped or something, do you know what I mean? I want that to think, oh, no, who did it? Stuff like that. But that's why I'm probably going to carry it. But, yeah. Yeah. 
<sighs> sorry, I'm, it's it's sorry. It makes it makes it sound like I've took some bloody happy pills or something because I'm <laughs> I'm off my rockers at the moment. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just very excited, to be honest. But yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I'll just simplify it now. I'm going to be reading Wake the Dead when it's released. But and like I said, I don't know if you've noticed this, but everybody's quite annoyed that they've done it until February. We pay for the VIP, right? Yeah. But yet we can't even read the book, what's in VIP? We've got, what, two books to read in VIP? And then now what? What if you've... Because once they've released, you've got to wait another week for what? Uh, for what exactly? Like, because if you've read all the other books and you've got VIP, then what are you supposed to do now? Yeah. It, honestly, it's it's Eve. I honestly don't know what to say about that. To be honest with you, I know. It's just, sorry, I'm not. I'm it's not just sure a that. way, you know. Uh, I think um, you know they took it out, you know, in hiatus. Probably they were planning to give it a sequel. They're canceling it, or they're giving it a sequel. It could be either of those. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's about it. With choices, to be honest, no, I think like that's what I mean. There's hardly nothing to talk about about choices nowadays, is there? Really? Or maybe. I mean, surrender. Know, see... Surrender's just yeah. surrender. Nobody really likes that book. <laughs> Um, oh, you think so? <laughs> well, I certainly don't. But you, no, no. But being honest, though, apart from surrender, what is it? Wake the dead and uh, crimes of passion. Wow. Because now Queen Bee's finished, I'm not going to get another Queen Bee book. What we've got to think about now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and this is what choices need to realise. Yes, it takes time to do books, and it takes time to do it, but like, if you're charging that much a month, then to not release that good of books. But I make an exception for Crimes of Passion and Wake the Dead, let, let's be honest. But like, to me, I know this is going to sound stupid, they should have just released the um, Surrender of the normal book without the IP. Straight away. But yeah, I'm just not, I'm just literally nothing to talk about about choices now, is there? Really? Yeah. And also, I you know, if you feel like you know, it's, um, you know, wake the dead, it didn't have much view on ac across all the social medias when the trailer was released, compared to Nanny Affair or Surrender. So I'm just worried, maybe the, how the first ten chapters where they were looking for the feedbacks. You know, there were not much steamy scenes and stuff. So maybe they're seeing they're not much, you know, plays of the book. So they're trying to finish it off for, you know, like rush it at the end or add some scenes here and there, redo it a little bit. So I don't know. I, I feel like the worst is about to happen with Wake the Dead. Yeah. It can go either way. Like yep. That's all we can do. We can, all we can do is wait. <sighs> They never really give clarification. Well, obviously, probably because of an NDA, so they can't exactly say why. They can't exactly say, oh, look, there's a sequel coming out now, there is because that would piss a lot of people off who will actually like the book. So you can see why. But, like, just abruptly, do you know what I mean? Just literally out of the blue for no reason at all. It, it actually surprised a lot of people. But when they did say that, I don't know if you noticed this, but everybody was like, why? Why would they do this? So they was enjoying the book. Yeah. Like, it's... What you know? What the you know where it is? Just sex sells. Literally, I know that's got nothing to do with Wake the Dead. But if they're gonna not make a Wake the Dead book too, from what I've read of it so far, it was good. But I realise I'm gonna wait until it's fully released before I read it all. It it depends on the book. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? I know I said with Crimes of Passion, I'll I'll I want to read it straight away, like when the chapter comes out. But Wake the Dead, I want to wait. But like, yeah. It really pissed a lot of people off that they just abruptly said, "Oh no, it's going into hiatus." Like, thanks. <laughs> now, what have we got to look forward to? Yeah. Crimes of passion, and which is actually good. And what is it? No consent book. That's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. That you have. Sorry. To... Look, I know it sounds like I'm not showing up, and I know, but I am. This is what I mean. I wanted to say this the other day, and then I'll shut up, and we'll talk about whatever. Right. Yeah. People think 
Right, I'm having to go choices. I am. The reason is, though, people do this is because they love the app that much. They just want it to be good and they want it to be perfect. It's not like I'm saying Pixelberry go and die, which I don't want them to die. I'm just saying, using it for reference. Like, I'm not saying that. I just want to give them a bit of criticism, which nobody's perfect. No app's perfect. Dreams are not perfect. Love sick. Choices is not. But, but yeah. I'm just passionate about it. I mean, I want it to be perfect. I just don't want the same box all the bloody time. Do you know what I mean? Like, sex sells. We know this. But, like, all because some it sells. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? All because that's what people want doesn't mean you should forget about everybody else. They should think about the fan base first before money. And I'm just so passionate about choices. It's like, I don't like the way they're going, and this is why. I just want them to change, man. But, yeah, I think it's just annoying me so much choices now. Bringing a stupid book like out, Surrender. Oh, it's only your opinion. Don't read the book. I pay for bloody VIP, man. I can criticise it if I want to. If it was free, then I'd understand. But I pay for it, so I can criticise it, can't I? Yes. It's just a joke, man. But, yeah, I'm just not holding that much hope for Wake the Dead at the moment. I don't think the good... I think they had a sequel made for it. but I, I, And that's why it's going into hiatus, because they're probably cancelling it now. So they're going to have to rewrite it all. Which is going to make it look like it's rushed. So it's like, what we've got to do now? I'm so... you Honestly, in here, man, you don't realise how angry I am. <laughs> Yeah, I'll shut up now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no worries. But yeah, I mean, um, this is just how, um, like, I was reading High School Story Class Act. I've been reading it right now, you know. Um, yeah. So um, I would say, like, the way, like, we genuinely spend time with the love interest, right? I, yep. I just don't find any point in like in Emery's book. Like, we actually well, spent time with the love interest, not just hooking up every time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you're going, you're, you're, you know, love interest almost naked. You know, the towel is dropping from there. I mean, I mean, that's what I mean. You even yeah. look as much as I like Crimes of Passion so far. And I know I said on the message, la di la di la, but I don't like the love interest and I'm not holding out much hope, but I'll read it just to make sure. But like you said, even with that book, why do we need stuff like this? I know you get all the cronies online putting, oh, look at this, look at this, this this picture. Honestly, it's like, fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, then look, look. God, I'm on a rant today, sorry. But like, I get it, people like it, but like, it's like, block them. I'm not blocking somebody just because of a bloody picture, man. If it's not offending me, why should I block it? But with the amount of people I've seen with that comic cart from uh, Laws of Attraction, no, you pillock, um, from Crown of Passion, like you said, it's a bloody joke. Like, we, oh, good God. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I understand, oh. you know, like, I would have understood it if it was like, uh, you know, 14 or 15 chapters in at the moment, you know, but instantly, it, it doesn't make sense, right? I mean, I was really... Yes, high school that's story. what I mean. I'm mean, sorry, act. look, I'll tell you now. In yeah. the, I didn't actually think, don't think we actually talked about this. No, because uh, people cancelled on us when they said, come on. But anyway, that's a different story for a different time. But like, that's what we wanted to talk about, didn't we, that day? It was like, like we were saying beforehand, weren't we? We were saying, like, it's two chapters in. We've just gone to that. I mean, people can skip this part if they want to, can't they? It's up to them. If, spoiler alert. Ding, 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 ding. You know. But, like, have you seen the playthroughs for it? No, I have not yet. That way. Right. I know a little bit about it, but I've not seen it. Yeah. Yet. Basically, we have to go to her house because we think she's a suspect, right? We barge in. She comes out with a towel around her, and then it instantly shows on a picture that, oh, look, she's She's drew more or less stressed. Like, and then, and then she says, "Oh, well, look at the like we fight her and all that, like like we do." And it ends up in the bedroom, and she said, "Oh, this is not exactly the bedroom things I've envisioned." What? 
we've just broken into your house and the first thing you can think of is, is us taking you into the bedroom. Are you insane? Like you said, with a comic art, you would have thought six, seven chapters in when we have time to rest. Do you know what I mean? Like, even the detectives have days to rest, man. Like, it's... It's like you said, it's a bit stupid. You'd think six, seven chapters in, but in the first chapter, or second chapter, I don't bloody know. I think it was the first chapter, yeah. Like, come on. Like, why do we need this? Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit, you know, like, yeah, like, too much is not necessary. Like, in ship, uh, you know, like, like, too much description of, like, you know, body description, you know, like uh, it just gets a bit too. I mean, yeah, I get for mm. books like the Nanny Affair and, um, you know, Surrender they do, but also for books like Shipwrecked or you know, Crimes of Passion, it's a bit. And also, you know, you can't have love interest. The 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 reference I brought up, high school class act, a high school storybook. We had spent genuine time with our love interest, yeah. and it's just I, I don't. You still here? It's just cut off. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, sorry, it just cut off. I thought I was. I thought I went deaf, and I thought, "Hey, hello." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, your yeah, ears yeah, are still fine. Yeah. So, like I was saying, like a genuine moment. Like I spent time with the love interest. Like there's Rory. Like you know, like genuine moments, and you just have fun, and that you know, you just talk things normal look, so the description look, 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 look. Kissing and genuine touch and grace uh i think these things are more important for these books like, look, if you have, can, I just you say, know, can i just say something now just to add on what you've just said yeah look don't take this the wrong way i'm being genuinely serious here you can give somebody a cuddle or a hug whatever you want to say i don't care what yeah. you say you can give somebody a hug Without it being sexual, you could kiss somebody without it sounding sexual. Yeah. Genuine, sweet, tender moments. Look, I know this is what we mean. Like, I'm passionate about this. I know people are going to go back and they're going to quote this, and I don't really care. I know I said I don't really like romance. But when the romance is pushed in your face, that's when it gets a bit too much. When it's just genuine, genuine moments of love. God, I'm sound like a love coach here, but do, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like genuine, yeah. when you can hug somebody without it being sexual, you can hug somebody without it being sexual. Look at this in Nanny Affair. I know there's people out there who like the Nanny Affair quite a lot, which is fine. And people say, yes, but you do get genuine moments. But then genuine moments do lead up to having sex or a hookup scene. We look at the scene in Nanny Affair where we get to go to the ice rink. We do end up like the description now how it was wrote why does it have to be wrote like this why does it have to sound like this we just want a genuine family moment man there's bloody kids there well yeah it's just a bit ridiculous yeah so I think what they're missing is like you know the gentle touch caress of you know mm. like uh, to one person to the other person be it friend or love interest you know so that chemistry it's missing you know like like the description of a single you know light you know uh, normal kiss or just you know an affectionate moment you know it doesn't have to be a, you know uh, like deep passionate kiss but just in a, yeah. an affectionate moment between two person you know, it's missing you know whenever we're going hey like i think shipwreck is a little better in that even though like without any yes. reason like our love interest is stuck there we just you know got punched in the uh, in a belly and we go there hey can i have a blow job i mean really <laughs> Yeah. This is. Uh, I, think, I mean, we sit right. Look, I know you love this book, and I and I and I'm not allowed to comment on that book to certain people. But I think that's what I mean about the shipwreck per se. Let's stop. Let's just talk about shipwreck here for a second. Like we said, it's not like we're just talking about nothing here. It's just adding points onto points, and then branching off of that, right? Yeah. With shipwreck, yes, it's a single love interest book. Yes, there is chemistry there. I, that's understandable. But the way it was, I mean. In the book, to, in my eyes, in my eyes, it just sounded like every moment was a passionate moment when it doesn't have to be, you know. Yeah, but you can work. understand, you can understand that because they're on an island on their own. There's a lot of love interest, which is fine. But yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, two people can sleep in a bed without 
No, 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 no. It depends what you, the definition of sleep is, isn't it? Like, two people can be in a bed that's watching Netflix. There's a yeah. sweet, can, tender yeah. kiss on the, the, on, the, on, the, on the cheek or on the lips. What's the problem with that? Why does it have to be yeah. passionate all the time? Yeah. But, but again, to add into that, I understand, you know, you know like once or twice, you can get a little bit sexual, you know, like you can't have well, a yeah. That's okay. But, you know, when it doesn't have to be like we're stuck and then we're, you know, asking for a blowjob or sex. <laughs> You know, uh, like really it happened you know it happened in chapter two i was like okay if we say so and sometimes when it's not necessary like description of you know how you know it is uh, you know you just uh uh our, our main character is feeding some jackfruit or something to the love interest and it's like you know luscious full lips i mean come on that could have been done in a sweet way also it was just you know it was like way overly sexual that was not totally necessary i mean yeah once or you know twice hookup scenes here and there in a good yeah. way it can be done but sometimes it just gets ridiculous and it feels like we don't you know like whether we really care about that person or it's just you know like hey i'm just here for a bj <laughs> yeah certain characters can be said that about in uh, half human can't they which I'm not, I don't have a problem with, but yeah. But no, no, but I'm going off the topic there. Yeah, no, but, but like, genuinely, though, like... <sighs> those are understandable, hey, those are understandable, because those are just flings and stuff, you know, they're not like, you know, we don't have a mental bond with them the way we have here, so that we mostly dreams when we have flings, so that's understandable, <laughs> flings, but they are not flings here, they are a real love interest, and you exactly. know, you, you can't, you can't ask your partner every time, like, "Hey, let's just uh, this, this is ridiculous, man." It's like saying after your wife has just given birth to a child or something. <laughs> oh, can we have another baby now? Yeah. Oh, can we have another baby now? God, God, imagine, imagine how bloody windows are up and then somebody walks in, police or something, and then it's like I'm talking to me phone and police come in and say, "Put your hands up. Who are you talking to?" Uh, myself and me mate. <laughs> no, but you know, honestly, though, it's a bit ridiculous. But you know what they say, and I've said it all along. Sex sells. Yeah. They'll put it out there if people like it. But they don't care about anybody else. Yeah. And it's not just choices. We know. Oh, choices is, you know, the choices recently has become such, you know. I think it's following episode, um, not episode, yeah, episode, yeah chapters. And the chapters, you know, which is overly sexual and almost all the other apps out there. Yep, yeah. But honestly, God, I haven't even been in a relationship for years. <laughs> well, how can you blame me? No, but like you said, you don't always have to, in a relationship, in real life, it's true. Why do we need to, why do you need to hook up with somebody every time you see it? What, like, what? honestly, like you said, it's just a bit ridiculous, isn't it? What choices are they doing nowadays? But, you know, don't care about that, they just care about the money. Well, then again, to be honest, we're not allowed to criticize choices, are we? We're not allowed to criticize them. Sorry, we better shut up before the police come. <laughs> no, I do you think I'm joking? I'm not. <laughs> it's you can't have an opinion sometimes, as long as it's not like it's for a genuine criticism, they've done something wrong, or it's just not what people like. I can comment on something if I pay for it. That sounds a bit stuck up. I don't care. If I pay for a thousand pounds phone, I can criticize it if it breaks or if it's not yeah. working or it's not, the camera's not very good. But, well, like, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, right. So, take your. F I was going to say something, but I'm not. I was going to say something, but that would have really made me angry. Sorry. Yeah, go on. As we were saying, yeah. Like you said, I think what book makes is the point about this, and I hate to say this, but The Nanny Affair is what we're trying to say. Is that book. As much as people don't want to hear it, like that book, it's so true. As much yeah. as Pixelberry and everybody who likes the book says it's not a smut book, The Nanny Affair is a smut book. There's no, hands down, it is. It is a smut book. The book one wasn't. Book one actually had a plot. I know we Absolutely. say this all the bloody time, but yeah, it's 
it's like you said, it's just ridiculous where choices are going now. I just want them to go back to the good old days, you know? Yeah, but I mean, I look, think that... you're going to laugh at this, you're going to quote this, you're going to put it out there. As much as I hate... What book was it? Um, With Every Heartbeat, yeah? Yeah. That is the total opposite to what we're saying. The sweet, tender yeah. moments in that book. I agree. I don't think it's the worst book out there. But in that book, it does epitomise what we have just been saying. Choices can make good books without hooking up all the time. Oh, my God. Honestly. People say, don't bloody read the books and when they come out. That's not the point. Why can't we just have books like... Oh, my God, I'm going to go... This is going to... You're going to laugh at this. But really, why can't we just have books with sweet tender moments like in... With every heartbeat, as much as I don't really like that book, like you say, sorry, we can t- we can talk about this for ages and which books are the, the problem, say. But yeah, it's a bit ridiculous in my opinion. And yeah, I totally sorry. agree, but I think it's not gonna get any better, and it's nope. just gonna be like this, you know. Because if you look at the year schedule, they only have two sequels, Nanny Affair and Laws of Attraction, and all the other new books. So I don't know how they're, you know, so if they're thinking something new, think, like... Look, 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 just to add on that as well. People say, yes, but books take time to read and good quality books take time to, to, to write and produce and that. So what people don't realise is Dream Zone, Love Sick, and all other apps wait, good quality books with good plot and romance Bring about 10, 20, even 30 books a year out? Like, really? Choices, come on. It, do you know what I'm trying to say here? There's some books what are good on better... There's some books on Dream Zone and Lovesick what are better than Choices, but Choices take longer to write. Why? Yet they get more money and worth more. So what's the problem with this? I mean, let, let's be honest. No, sorry, no, sorry, that's a different topic, but yeah, it's, what, like you said, three books coming out this year, five books, wow, well done, choices. Yeah, let's take into account since December, last year, December, 2020, December, we had Foreign Affairs, Wolf Pride, no, that was uh, 2020's project, so in 2021, we had Open Heart, we had Laws of Attraction, we had The Nanny Affair, we had Shipwrecked, Wake the Dead, Crimes of Passion, Surrender, seven books. Did I miss anything? I don't think you did. Yeah, seven new books they released this year. Wow. Oh, Queen Bee, Queen Bee book two. Eight, eight new books. <laughs> it's 2022, not 2021. Do you mean last oh, year? Yeah. But yeah, honestly. <laughs> no, but I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, people can say, yes, but they're good quality books. <laughs> Surrender isn't. But no, 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 but no, but on a, I do agree with you. Like, only seven books, uh, five books coming out this year off the top of my head. Yes, it's time to get other books to, for them to announce other books, or they might actually have some books they're working on, but they're just not telling us. You know what I mean? You know, but like, it's just ridiculous in my opinion. Yeah. Let's see what happens, you know. But I think, you know, it's going to get worse before it gets better because, you know, I think they're planning, they could be planning something like from now on, they will cut off on sequels. Like there won't be any sequel anymore. There'll be only newly releasing books and all the books will be VIP early access books and new books, you know, no old books. So I, I don't think chapters do sequels. Do they do sequels? Uh, I actually don't know. I actually don't know, to be honest. No, actually, I don't think they do sequels. So they are all like one book. So I think that's what choices are going to follow, you know. It's going to be one book from now on. Because yeah. I don't know. I, I'm just a hunch. Like, they could be following that route. 
So with VIPs, yeah. they can make a lot of money. Only books, VIP, you have to pay for it. And they're going to make it a bit like chapters, steamy romance, hookup in a related plot like we're seeing recently. And books like Wake the Dead won't get received the good treatment and they will be, you know, they'll be going to hiatus or canceled and stuff like that will happen. So I think that that can be a problem. Yeah. Look. I get people can say you don't read a book. And I know people say if you don't like it, don't read it. Yeah, but that's not the point. I pay if it was free the book and it just come out non VIP, then I can get it. I won't read it. But if it's VIP and I pay for it, I'm going to play it because that's what I pay for. And if it's not a good book, I'll criticize it. Yeah. But if I play it, then do people where you're going to know? But I'm going to be playing it and don't think, oh look, he actually likes it. But that, all because what I'm trying to say here, all because there's loads of reads of it doesn't mean people actually like it. Yes, you can go on one thing saying there's like. A million, half a million reads, 500,000 reads. But how many of them 500,000? Does it actually say in them, like, um, numbers, how many people actually like or dislike it? No, we don't. We just say how many people have read it, not how many people dislike it or like it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's, yeah. they don't know that. They should have a thing to say at the end of a book, or at the start of the book, like, every couple of chapters, are you enjoying this book specifically so far? Do you know what I mean? And then they'll actually get an idea. Because, like I said, people say, if you don't like the book, don't read it. If it was free, I'd not read it. But if it's because I'm paying for it, I'll read it. And if it's not good, I'll criticise it. So it's like, but, you know, to add on what you said, sex sells. It just does, doesn't it? But honestly, that's we can we cannot do anything about it, can we? We can't march as in to say, oh, well, let's get a plane ride to wherever the thingies are, the head officers are, and say, we want change, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that, but, you know, the new need to get their act up a bit. Like, give a good romance. Give good romance, but just not hooking up all the time. Sweet, tender moments, good books. Just change from what's releasing. You know, it's so honestly sad to see. It really is. But yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say on that. Hello? Are you there? Hello?